Hey guys, thank you so much for returning to my channel. This is your girl, Nitra P. So today's video is going to be about the truth about a hood mentality, okay? Um, so I just want the Lord to come and say all my words, okay? In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you. Thank you so much for your support, continual support. Um, so I have... The reason why the hood mentality is wrong and bad, especially for the black community. Um, for one, I have, um, it's brainwashing that they did intentionally through music, rap music, and certain R&B. Um, it's one so that black men and people would not succeed financially. Um, in order to succeed, you have to have your head on a certain kind of way, your morals and your priorities in a certain kind of way. And you know that if you do certain things that you would not want to do these things to keep you away from your goals. Um, as far as out here, making financial plans, making um, transactions, this and that, this and that. And yeah, so um, that's number one. Number two is they were brainwashed to believe that they never loved themselves and they want them to never know their value. The government made this um, brainwashing for black people and black men mainly because they wanted them to never value themselves and never truly love themselves. A person who loves themselves loves their family and takes care of their family. And most importantly, as my um, father would say, <sighs> that you can't do any you can't love your uh can't love others until you love yourself you can't do anything until you do for yourself you have to love you and take care of you before you do anything if you couldn't do nothing right he did say that right and he said that his problem was he was trying to do things his way larry's way for over about for about 50 years a little over 50 years or about close to like 40 years um so yeah um, they know that men are black people and black men are very powerful. Um, Christ has chosen black people to be his chosen people. Um, not as far as like a chosen one, but in a very close, close way. They are kind of like they are the chosen people. Um, but they had sinned against God and chose other gods way back in the past. So um, I do believe that we do have black people have a curse on us. God gave us from... Um, chasing other idols, other gods. Um, and that's why they were, um, black people and black men were targeted to go to jail, to, you know, be hurt and to be all the way things are now with murder and all that. Three, I have, um, they self-destruct, kill each other, less work for white supremacy governments to do on uh, exterminating them. Um, it's true. Um, the governments did not want black people because they know that we, if we ever knew our power um, spiritually, mentally, financially, things would be bad. So guys, God is having me speak on this because he wants us to start changing. We have very little time left, but there is some time. We have to make leaps and bounds quickly if that's what we really need to realize. And it is what we need to realize that we got to get accomplished um, to make a turnaround in this country and for our own personal lives as well. So also you have number four is they want black people and black men to not keep a solid mom and dad for the children that they raise in their home. Um, again, the problem with that is it creates um, problems in a person, in a child, um, not enough self-worth, not enough, you know, how to have a relationship um, and just how they interact with the world in general and with other people um, in relationships as far as friendships and um, romantic. Um, so that's why. The devil knew to separate the man from the woman, um, starting from slave days. And with the jail things, with like I said, the government had intentionally put guns and stuff in the hoods in the early 80s on purpose to destroy black people. 
Um, and then the last one I have here is never knowing that they are very powerful, favored by God, and when and Jesus, oh, once they finally submit to God. As I just said, y'all are chosen, um, kind of like how other people chosen, like myself. Um, but the thing is, is we are probably a notch down right under it, like very close, you know, because um, we're basically one and the same, though. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I didn't know how to really explain that or like how to say that. So, um, yeah, uh, black people, that's why they went through all the uh, abuse, the killing by cops, the slavery, you know, all the trauma that the white people inflicted that we continue to inflict on each other. Um, yeah, we got to cut it out. We got so many things we need to correct and we really need to start doing that. All right. Um, because black men, black women, we are worthy. You are worthy. You deserve it. You do. And the promiscuity on both ends, men and females, I really feel like we really got to stop that, okay? And women, we need to understand that we hold the power. Just remember that. And please, can we please start raising the bar for these men to act better, all right? Um, and yeah, black men and black people were brainwashed by the government, by rap, to destroy their own selves and they sat back and laughed at us because we did their hard work for them after they gave us a few tools um unfortunately so thank you so much for listening you guys i love you thank you so much please like share subscribe hit the notification bell so that you are aware when i post new videos jesus loves you i love you and shalom Mwah. bye